Hey guys, CQ the Watch Guy here. With Avengers Infinity War now out on Blu-ray, I wanted to dive a bit deeper into Marvel watches. But don't worry, we'll stay clear of all the spoilers. Before we get into it, make sure you check out my full video on watches and movies and TV here. JLC has been known as Marvel's main watch brand, showing up in Doctor Strange and the Iron Man films. But recently, some other brands have been showing up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Just this year, Citizen announced a major partnership with Disney, becoming the official timepiece of Disneyland. They were even a sponsor for the Avengers Infinity War red carpet, even though the movie stars were rocking all sorts of different pieces on their wrists. Robert Downey Jr. wore this Grubel 4C GMT, which is a beast of a watch and a technical innovation, definitely something I can see Iron Man, or Tony Stark I should say, wearing in the flesh. Bradley Cooper rocked his IWC Big Pilots watch Le Petit Prince edition, a really clean blue dial limited edition to die for. Tom Holland showed off his Piaget Altipano 900P, a classy choice for the young superstar. There's actually an interesting story about the watch Robert Downey Jr. wore's Iron Man and Spider-Man Homecoming. He ended up wearing an Uwerk UR110, a really wild piece that Robert Downey Jr. requested himself in pink gold. The dial itself sort of looks like a Stark Industries invention, if I do say so myself. Apparently, when the studio first reached out to Irwin, the company thought it was a prank call. I mean, who would think the Iron Man would be calling for a watch, right? When they found out it was legit, they immediately rushed the watch to set. After the movie came out, they auctioned off the watch for charity. It's so cool to hear stories like this about how timepieces end up being used in ways you really wouldn't expect it. It will be exciting to see what kind of crazy pieces end up on Tony Stark's wrist the next time the Avengers assemble. <laughs> 